All right, what is up, guys? Evan Aldo here. Wanted to give you an update. Bitcoin, Ethereum, obviously, S&P 500, USDT dominance I want to talk about as well, Bitcoin dominance as well. The USDT dominance, there's something pretty remarkable there that we got to talk about. But first things first, there's a promo going on with Bybit. They're doing a 15-day tournament. Link in the description below, only with my link. You get a good bonus as well if you deposit and sign up, obviously, for experienced traders only. And uh, you need a VPN if you're in the U.S. Also, please check out my Twitch going live later today. The live streams are exclusively on Twitch. Stop in. Say you're from YouTube. I'll uh, give you a shout out, answer any questions you guys got as long as they're reasonable. Um, so, yeah, let's get into the analysis. So, I want to start off with um, Bitcoin right here. Now, the big thing, I've talked about it yesterday, but, you know, this money flow crossover into the red usually brings us down about 30%. That would bring us down to around... 11k so that's kind of the target for this money flow crossover i think regardless once this confirms in the red this is going to be an excellent excellent place for a 10 month kind of dca period and you know even if we don't bottom out until later mid to later next year you're still going to be dcaing in when we are at the bottom so i think it's going to set you up very very well for the next bull run obviously not financial advice anything could happen but that's just my opinion right here and if we move down um to you know the few of these other time frames i mean the weekly you're about to get a red dot. I believe the um, highest time frame that's currently printing a red dot is the five day, not the five day, actually the four day. It's the five day on Ethereum, but the four day printing red dot. So it could repeat, you know, obviously one of these drop downwards drops down. And that's 26% right there. So, you know, you could be headed for you know, quite a big drop down. I mean, 12K there. You got a bunch of spiral lines, but. If it's like 2015, you know, if it's like January 2015, it could be very similar to that cycle where you just generally just trend down a lot in the next, you know, four to six weeks for a potential bottom in mid-January, you know, sometime in January, maybe a little sooner, a little later, you know, it's hard to predict it exactly, but that's the trajectory I'm looking at. You know, you came into the green right here on the on the three day, just like over here. And, you know, this brought us down. Um, this would probably be the case where you keep coming down until you know 67%. I'm curious how, you know, this is probably absolute worst case scenario if you just keep coming down until like summer or something. 68% would bring us down, yeah. Around 6k in August. That would be probably I mean theoretically you could come up even a lot anything could happen, but I think that's probably the absolute worst case scenario if you just keep following the S&P 500 on the way down around that a repeat of kind of that into into summer. But the thing with that is like if you start DCAing at like say 11K, if we're at 11K in January and you just come down to like 5, 6K, that's not that bad for crypto. It's still a pretty good um, accumulation window for the next bull run. So not financial advice, but I think you're going to be fine with that. Um, here's so for short term, you know, 16 hour would give you the case that we could pump up a little bit more, maybe 17.6, 17.3. You know, these areas in the middle here, um, I'm kind of in the ballpark that we're kind of going to just um, start to roll over and come down here. We got a pretty decent rejection off of 17K right here. And what I'm looking at for, you know, potentially rolling over here, look at these split RSIs, you know, kind of on the two hour. When you have very split RSI curving down, you usually kind of reject. Um, could be kind of like, I mean, these ones weren't as split, but kind of like that, you know, see a trajectory down, just come right back down. Also, what I kind of like is the 15 minute look at this. I mean, just look at you got to 17K, rejected from it, bearish div, money flow starting to come out in the 15. It wouldn't surprise me if we come up, you know, a bit more here and then reject again, play around with these areas. It really depends. There's also obviously the case, you know, based on like I showed you the 12 hour, you know, and the 16 hour to come up a bit more here, 17.6. My gut instinct tells us we're, we're going to come down here. Wanted to show you as well, just um, this could give us a you know potential trajectory at the bottom. This is important to look at. USDT um, dominance right here. Now, look at right here when you had the bearish div with money flow starting to come out. I mean, you had it here and then you had another leg up into you know, September. Either of these times would have been pretty good places to obviously get into Bitcoin, get into crypto for the next bull run in 2020. Um, but look right there. See, you got the bearish div coming out with money flow coming out. Money flow is getting really high and overheated here. Once you see money flow starting to curve down here with a bearish div confirmed, that would likely either be a, a bear market bottom for Bitcoin or, you know, just a good place to start getting in. You know what I mean? Even if the USDT get, comes higher, um, this has come up a lot. I think you should have some type of trend, you know, reversal here. Also, the possibility of tether depegging blowing up. That's always, you know, that's always a possibility. Um, I, th I think it's if it's going to happen, I think it's going to happen pretty soon. 
in the next within the next two months. Um, so that could be bring a capitulation down. I don't think that would bring Bitcoin down to 3K or some ungodly low number because a lot of people may be just converting on the on the exchanges their USDT to Bitcoin. I mean, what else are you going to convert it to when it depegs when you're in a panic to get out? So there's that possibility right there. Now I want to talk about um, you know, Ethereum. And Ethereum had, you know, a nice, um, just look at this on probably the 30 minutes highest time frame. Bearish div, money flow coming out, pretty textbook, nice rejection off of the spiral line right there. Um, I'm still short on Ethereum with profits locked in, did not get stopped out. Um, I think especially, I like this, look at that bearish div and the hourly with money flow coming out, crossing into the red. This looks like a good, I mean, I think it happened, but this looks like a good potential you know, place to go short and try to come back down. Also, just like Bitcoin, split our size in the two hour right there. Um, in terms of the weekly, just to, you know, give you guys, we talked about it yesterday, I'll talk about it briefly again. Look at right here, this is 60% down. There's not much, guys. After once you lose a thousand, once you lose this area, there's not much before kind of this range. So 60% down could easily bring you down to like 500 for a bear market bottom within you know, the next four or six weeks, a little more, a little less, hard to exactly say, um, but that's a big possibility on Ethereum right now. And what would also kind of, you know, be a catalyst for us, look at how bullish this Bitcoin dominance looks right here. 11 days to confirm, you know, this monthly bullish div right there. I think this could bring us up a lot. Um, this could ultimately bring us up a lot here. And if you have a crash, this should come up a lot. If one of the stable coins goes down, this is going to come up a lot as well. This is the Bitcoin dominance that includes everything. Stable coins too. So, you know, I, I'm very bullish on this. There's a very high likelihood this will finally um, come up here. And I want to show you guys on the S&P 500 as well. This looks as bearish as possible. Look at this little trigger wave. This almost should be a blood diamond in my opinion because it's a trigger wave coming down. This could turn into a blood diamond in the next two days before it confirms. Um, I think this is going to be, you know, probably a very high likelihood of an excellent swing short opportunity to come down. Now, Crypto Face was comparing this to 08 um, before, and I know there was like somebody in the comments was saying like things never repeat exactly, um, you know, like the last time. And that's very true. I think it could repeat more like 01, you know what I mean? Just more of an extended, an extended bear market rather than just a crash downward. Um, and that's also similar to... Um, Kind of if I show you on the SPX, this chart is more data. Um, look at a, it's it's important to look at this because if we go back to 1973 here, where is it? Um, 1973, I circled it. This is a high inflationary area. And, you know, you had, it's a little bit different here, but you could probably compare it to kind of this area or this area to kind of just have that trajectory downward. So, you know, that was a high inflationary area. The you know, Fed was raising rates. So, yeah, I think you're going to repeat something like this. This is an estimate of where I think you could potentially bottom out. It's probably going to be somewhere, you know, between 32 to like eh, probably worst case scenario, mid to low twos, you know, that kind of area to come down. But I think this is ultimately um, a very good you know, short opportunity. Technicals look a little bit different here on the six day, but it's probably a little bit more delayed on the SPX chart um, right there. And also the short chart. This is the short fund for the S&P 500 on 3x leverage. Just look at, you know, how we've been messing around with these trend lines. Look at that. I mean, just beautiful right here. I think ultimately, you know, into February, March, January, it could come up a good 60% with this fund. I mean, th this looks very good right here. And just look at the five day, you know, all these look good. First time you've ever got into the, into the green here. So it looks like something's going to happen here. It looks like you should repeat this pattern and come up. Obviously, anything could happen, but I think the the swing, you know, the swing trade, the swing long on this fund will do um, pretty well. And it, it looks it's similar. We've looked at the S triple Q on this channel. We've looked at the the one for the housing, you know, the housing shorting market, real estate short. They all look pretty similar that they should come up to the top of the next trend line within the next few months. It looks very likely here. And I think you will see an announcement of a recession. Um by that point, um, by in the, within the next few months, I think they're going to have to kind of talk about it and admit that we're you know now in a recession. So going to be interesting with that. And I think you know silver is kind of exceeding my expectations a little bit here. I thought we'd come down like um, a little bit, but now we're just um, I don't know. Are we making? Yeah, we're almost making new highs. Um, almost not exact, not yet, but very close to making new highs. So I thought we'd come down a little. I was hoping we'd come down. I've held the correction out of twenty one. So I could get more, but a good a good thing though. I, you know, I'm happy silver's coming up. I still have a lot of it, but yeah, 
Um, I'm looking to get more in now on this four-day four day money flow crossover, which I think could ultimately give you a lot. I mean, look at the last time this happened. Um, you know, if you don't factor in the pandemic right there, that was 100% gain. So this could come up a lot. And I think Peter Schiff is going to have a field day pretty soon, especially if this keeps coming up in January as Bitcoin um, crashes. But we'll see. Um, all right, guys, that's all I got for you. Um, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out the link to Bybit down below for the tournament. Um, also, check out my exclusive Discord down below for the trade entries, stop losses, take profits, exclusive DA. Not right 100% of the time, but we do pretty well in there overall. So check that out down below. Also, um, my trading course down below if you want to know how I do my technical analysis, um, all that type of stuff, link in the description below. It's coupon code BEARMARKET20, 20% off. Um, that should be all, guys. Check out the Twitch as well. Goodbye.